there did, a did lot it empower you? Did prostitution empower you? Yeah. I felt that it did. Would you go back to it? Um, I would do it again. I think I'm possibly a tiny bit too old and overweight for the sort of work I was doing then. But yeah, if I could go back in time, if, if I got in the TARDIS and went back to 2003, I would make that choice again. Well, a feminist writer, uh, Andrea Dworkin, for example, um, she said, male dominance means that the society creates a pool of prostitutes by any means necessary so that men have what men need to stay on top, to feel big, literally, metaphorically, in every way. So she's saying that a prostitute cannot feel empowered. It is the man who is in charge. I mean, my main objection to feminists like Andrea Dworkin is they come at it from uh, a very... a point of view that assumes that all prostitution is of women for the pleasure of men. And really, when you look at prostitution worldwide, that isn't the case. Uh, there are a lot of trans men and women in prostitution. There are a lot of men in prostitution. There are a lot of female clients. I mean, this is something even, even well-known feminist Julie Bindle has written about uh, the market for male prostitutes in developing countries for wealthy white women to go. If she wants to criticize the power structure that allows this to happen, I see that as a valid criticism, but to paint it entirely as the oppression of women by men is just out of step with the reality of the business. Okay, well then from feminist to, to, to scientists, what about scientists who've taken the anti-prostitution approach uh, based on their research, such as uh, Melissa uh, Farley, an American clinical psychologist, for example. She says all prostitution causes harm, whether it's being sold to one's family, to a brothel, being sexually abused, used uh, in one's family, running away from home, uh, or whether one is in college and needs to pay for next semester's tuition. Melissa Farley has had an enormous hold over a lot of opinions to do with prostitution and a lot of policy. We have to remember that this is a researcher who's not only criticized by her own colleagues, but her testimony was all but disregarded when she gave testimony in Canada regarding the recent brothel cases, for instance. She unfortunately has the tendency to take a, a very small self-selecting group of people that she interviews. Uh, for instance, one of, one of her studies was a study of uh, prostitutes and brothels in Nevada w who are known to have problems because the legal situation for them is so difficult. She then takes her conclusions from that study and expands it to mean all prostitution. Forgive me though, but she's hardly alone, neither amongst feminists nor scientists in saying that prostitution is harmful uh, to those who perform it, nor amongst uh, governments, uh, world governments I would say for though, example. She, she does have an outsized influence because she does get everywhere. And but, she but, paints but, but let's, let's move on from, from an individual scientist, mm. if, if, if you will, and look at governments um, who look to ban uh, prostitution or criminalize uh, prostitution. France's Minister for Women, Najat uh, Vallaud-Bel uh, Sam has declared this June she wants to ban prostitution altogether. Yes. Uh, last year, the French National Assembly passed a resolution saying its objective was a society without prostitution, and clients of sex workers face prison in a handful of European countries, not just in Britain, but also Sweden, Norway, uh, Iceland as well. Well, that's not actually the case in Britain at the moment, but there are consultations going forward in Ireland and Scotland which would criminalise people who buy sex. At the moment, what's criminalised uh, would be things like running a brothel, uh, managing or pimping someone, uh, and solicitation, which actually puts the women at more risk. But to go back to France specifically, I find it very interesting that they would like to have a society without prostitution. As far as we know, that's never existed in human history. So I'm interested to know if they feel that banning prostitution is going to achieve that. How on earth is prohibition going to move that forward? I would really like them to take a step back and consider what are the circumstances under which prostitution exists. Making criminals out of people at the, at the tail end of a number of decisions surely isn't going to help anyone.